What's going on everybody? Fred here, back today playing some more Dicey Dungeons on my YouTube channel Good Talk Gaming. And today, we are going to do the robot I think. Last night in my free time, I went ahead and played the Thief. I beat it. I think I kind of figured out the one easy secret to winning the Thief run. And that's just upgrading his primary dagger attack. And we can talk about that more next time we play the Thief. Um, but, I haven't played the robot at all. So I thought it would be fun to do today. You guys can get my first impressions. Let me go ahead and read what we have here. Be boop, humans. Ha, just joking. I could definitely talk. I love color-coded to-do lists and pushing myself to the limits. So, three-star difficulty, I have no idea what any of the cards are for the robot. But let's get started. See if we can unlock another character today and, and beat this run. <laughs> Our next contestant works hard, plays hard, and most importantly, tries hard. Um. Some might say too hard. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but that's not our place to judge. The noises she makes are hilarious. Instead, let's give a warm welcome to... The Robot. Woo, here we go. Thank you, Lady Luck. I'm really excited to begin this journey to a better self. And what do you hope to win? I want to eliminate my need to sleep. I'm sorry. With an extra eight hours a day, I can truly become the best me I can be. Ah. Why not just play for immortality? Uh -huh. Then you'd have all the time in the world. All the research shows that personal change is more substantial if you start small. I'm going to try for immortality next time. Mm -hmm. Oh my dear. <laughs> there won't be a next time. Just try to make the most of this one. In you go. So wish me luck, guys. I may, in fact, suck. So, we can look at our equipment before we even get into the first battle. Oh, pea shooter? Okay, I've seen this before. Do two damage. It's reusable. Uh, maybe it's much better once it's upgraded. Who knows? Can you, like, right-click and see what something's upgrade is? You can't. So, this just straight-up does damage. Plasma blaster. Okay, I like this one a lot. That one gets a lot stronger as you get more dice. But let's try and unlock some new equipment first. Frog hits pretty hard. Has broadsword as an attack. But we have calculate. I don't know what this does. Oh man, I really don't know what the robot does. This is interesting. Jackpot guaranteed ready in 8 HP. What? What happens if we go over? Are we like playing blackjack or something? See, this is worth doing. Yeah, so now we know. We, we, we lost, you know, no damage there, really. That was worth us finding out. We gotta do it again. Oh, God. Well, let's... Let's get the kill. This is gonna be interesting. It's almost like playing blackjack, right? We don't wanna go over. Nudge. Dice value minus one. Okay, I'm not sure how often that'll come in handy. But we'll see. So not the best equipment, I don't think, to start off with. Hothead is weak to ice. So you basically want to do it one at a time. Seems to me. Four is definitely the biggest one we're going to get. Let's put something in there and then we get an error. Okay. I don't know what the jackpot gives us. So let's try that. So with the jackpot, we get a lucky shot, regenerate, and one more dice. Let's just take the lucky shot. It doesn't really matter because we're going to level up here and heal. Two extra CPU. That makes sense. So instead of getting extra dice, we get, I guess, a higher number that we can roll to. 
this is all very interesting. I have to say, I like this mechanic a lot. Either way, we have to fight two enemies. The Dryad is strong against poison. Ooh, okay. So, max there. We could actually lower this to a 5 to do 5. Seems a little weird, though. Yeah, I think this actually comes out to one more damage, if I'm doing the math correctly. Yeah. Alright, no poison for us yet. Our limit break's ready, so let's just... Can we... Hmm. This is something I just want to test. Can we auto-roll now? And it gives us the difference as if it splits it. We'll do the 5 damage. We'll lower that one to 5. Should have done the two ones first and then the three. We missed out on one point here in Pea Shooter. Let's just chalk that up to my unfamiliarity with this mechanic. But we're getting there. So it is probably better just to use auto roll first. I don't think there's any real downside. Definitely will take that. We'll take that. And then if we go over, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, don't like that. He hit a, she hit us hard. We, she healed. But there we go. And we managed to keep our auto roll available to us. For the next round. Come here, see if there's anything we can buy. Midnight charm or a small shield or short circuit. I have no idea what this does. It's a bit experimental, but we can take it and and see. Interesting. Okay, can we beat one of these guys without healing? And I'm not sure, so I'm going to be on the safe side. We'll use our limit break. If we roll one more dice, does this activate? It does. Okay, so this is definitely something we want. And Cursed was the random effect that we were able to do. That was a good bit of damage on turn one. So Cursed means that the thing can fail, the attack can fail, and that was perfect. Hmm. This is risky. Well, that's perfect. And we landed on jackpot, so we get to hit for five and apply poison. So I can see why this, this character is pretty fun, but she feels kind of scary weak in the beginning. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's reduce that. We've got the win. And we're gonna level here. Ultima Weapon. Immune to Errors. 
Have we... Oh, I see. Okay, so we can go overboard on our last roll and still use the Buster Sword. So the Buster Sword is like something at the end. This is great. Man, I want both of these. This is like just a really high damage piece of equipment, but this one I think we can use a lot of the time in case we ever go over. This encourages us to go over actually every single time. I think I'm going to take the Buster Sword. It's probably way more common and that might be a mistake. But man, if I could have got both of those, that would have been great. Wow, six right off the bat, eh? Let's do that. The thing is, if we get another six... And this is, of course, assuming I'm understanding this mechanic. Yes. So here we go. Perfect. And then six damage right at the end. Otherwise, we just would have gone over and kind of screwed ourselves. So interesting to see how burn works here. A six here would be kind of bad. Wow, we land a six. That's all right. We'll deal with six damage. We didn't have the kill anyway. But at least we didn't take that extra two burn damage. And we're going to go into the next uh, floor with our auto roll meter filled. get a mechanical arm do one damage add one to each roll huh well we'll see how that functions in just a second I'm sure but I feel like this floor is gonna be kind of hard for us let's go for the level two first okay baby squid Let's use our limit break. We're gonna roll one more dice. Four, four, and four. And then we'll do three here. So 26 damage and we locked one of its dice. Pretty strong. So all it can do is blind us on one dice. Oh wow, look at that. I was gonna assume that we have what we need to go that far. Um, huh. Four damage. We could do four damage here, and three there. All right, cool. We navigated that well, and now all we need to do is beat a level three, like the vacuum. Do damage, get a new dice. Huh. Or a ray gun. Do three damage, three uses this turn. I kind of don't want any of these. So we're going to pass. And I'm going to come over here and upgrade. And see what kind of upgrades we have. Come in, take a seat. Picked up some great wiring from Robobot this morning. I reckon I've got some pretty decent upgrades to offer. So do four damage. Wow, so it just straight up doubles in effectiveness. That's, that's good to know. Short circuit... Do blank damage 
Add random status. I don't know what the change is. Yeah, I'm not sure. This gives you three uses of nudge. I don't really care for nudge. Plasma Blaster removes the five max, which is okay. And this removes the, the necessity for it to be even. So I'm kind of curious what short circuits upgrade is. But pea shooter is just twice as effective. All right, let's upgrade that and see. And when we beat the vacuum, we'll level. And I'm assuming it's gonna raise our CPU level or whatever that was. Okay, we're safe now. We can do... Oh, wow, so we don't have, it's not, the prerequisite isn't the number of rolls we have. We don't need four rolls to do this ability. Now we just straight up do damage. We can lower this one to make it even. Oh, wow, and a perfect jackpot. Awesome. Let's... I mean, five damage is like the most... The best thing we could get would be a six, but I mean, let's not count on that. So let's just do five there. All right, drain for two. So we always want to do damage with this. Even if it's just a one, we want to use it. So awesome, we locked one of its dice. Let's calculate now. And then now we go over and use the Buster Sword. Awesome. Fun character. I'd be interested to see like a full list of its uh, of its cards. So we know we can at least roll twice there, because a six wouldn't have put us over either. It would have actually given us a jackpot. So I mean, we have we have the kill here. So before we do that, let's just see if we roll a one and we could heal. So that's like a fringe benefit, right? We still get to keep our dice. We still get to kill it with Buster Sword. But if we had rolled one, hit a jackpot, we could have used Regenerate for three extra HP. So, this is going to level us, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but it, something like that I could see mattering at some point in a, in a playthrough. So we'll fight the Jester, then we'll probably have to heal after. Nice to have that extra apple on the board. Hey, it's a dice enemy. How are you getting on with the dungeons? Feeling at home yet? After all, it's not like you're ever going to leave. Jester, I'm going to punch you in the face. So we're up to 13. Which means even if we get a 6 on the first roll, we can go again. And we can do it again. Alright, that's probably enough. Um, let us... Do 6 damage here. just need an even roll. I don't know what using nudge on this dice would do. I have no idea. You know what? Let's do this. Okay. Calculate, go over, use the buster sword. Good plays. And our random status effect that we applied was burn. So he's freezing up our dice, which kind of sucks. Let's use our limit break right now. If I think I have the kill here already, we can regenerate. If I roll one more die now, okay. So let's let's do this. That'll help me figure it out. 
We'll do five damage here, or four rather. Four here. And then we can just kill it, or him. Yeah, and that's fine because we do have the apple afterwards to heal. So how are you doing this? It's like you believe there's a way out or something. I'm actually starting to wonder if there is a way out, if we have to go through like the entire game to unlock it. Cheat code, increase jackpot range this turn. Well, I like that a heck of a lot better than nudge. Nudge has been somewhat useful. Okay. Next level, here we go. We got the Wicker Man, Crystalina. Let's go for the jar first and see what kind of equipment we get. Strong against poison. We don't do poison. So anytime we get a one, perhaps, we want to put it in the cheat code. Wow, okay. Hmm. Let's put five here. Three here. Four here. We'll overroll and use Buster. I'm hoping we have one more CPU upgrade before the final boss. could get greedy, but I think we just do something like... Hmm. Let's see what this does. Okay. I think we go for it. Damn. One away. So huge poison damage, ow, that sucks. We have the kill no matter what with Buster Sword, so let's go for the jackpot, perfect. And now we can regenerate, and let's get the kill. That's using the old noggin, because we have quite a ways to go until we level. Alright, full HP. And we get double dice, double dice value. Max three. Mm. I could see that being good in different circumstances, but I kind of like what we have. Honestly, the, the weakest ability we currently have seems to be our pea shooter. If it was upgraded, it might be more useful, but we have all of these abilities that just do flat damage based on, you know, the dice's actual value. Let's do this. Do this. Damn. Alright, hard to be mad at a six roll. Look, our man is Groot. And we weakened his staff ability. Still managed to hit us with it. We'll just do an auto roll. And we'll see what we need by the time we get done. This is six damage. Could roll one more dice, but it would just be to put something in pea shooter. Kind of like doing the lucky shot. Almost guarantees that we get the kill next turn. But he also has a heal too, and the curse actually took effect. So awesome! He didn't get a chance to hit us.
Let's go for that. Go for this. And that's a kill. Maybe this time I'll weave myself longer legs. Uh, it's great to be made of wicker. You should try it. I've owned a wicker chair before, and I gotta tell you that that doesn't last very long. Okay, let's go see if we can trade something. No, I don't want to get rid of short circuit. No deal. And we can go fight this crystallina thing. The big googly eyes. Forty-eight HP and four dice is pretty strong. We'll do five here. Let's actually try and get lucky. Perfect. That's great. I think our best bet is just to do five damage. Now let's see what this thing's abilities are. Create a random crystal weapon. Oh god. Okay, just a curse, no real damage. That, that's not very strong. Jeez, okay. Alright, and we locked one of its dice. So I wasn't sure that would work, but... Should have done six damage. Said I did three. Wasn't thinking. Another curse. Let's see if we can trigger the curse. Nope. Another one. Huh. Let's try... This. Okay, we cursed... We cursed it right back. Our curse just isn't triggering. And of course it's gonna- No, it didn't! Wow, we got super lucky. Was that like four attacks? At a 50% chance to fail? Just didn't fail. Wow, all the- all the weapons have been unlocked now. But I think it's too late for this thing. and we'll roll one more time because if we landed it we could have regenerated so crystal 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 is that all you have to say all right so we get a reward reduce cpu counter by so much that's interesting cpu counter plus one two uses this turn I don't know if I'm going to use either one of those. I mean, maybe put this in over Pea Shooter? Doppel Dice might be better than both of these, though. Just turn like a random 2 into a 4. Something like that. Alright, let's go on down to the next level. We'd love to get a couple upgrades. All of our stuff is pretty basic. Okay, let's turn that into a four. Wow, so lucky. Lucky shot, two, four. And I'm assuming that our auto roll is going to get filled. 
guy. But triple frozen kinda sucks. Because it just means that we're gonna get a ton of ones. But look at that. So we'll put our lowest even to two. Put this in here. Let's double the dice value on our two. That way we can do four here. And then a five shot is a kill. Nice and easy. We've got a lot of enemies to take out. If we're going to get to all the good stuff. They kind of hit them behind everything. So the gargoyles enemy moves. Five's the max. What happens? We do some of this. Alright. 18 damage. And we weakened. Not very effective against this enemy. Because they have a ton of the same move. Wow. Okay. We gotta try for that. I think that was basically all we could do. We did lock one of his dice though. We locked his four. Now we can't do anything. Man, we're wrecking this dude. Yeah, getting two really high dice like this messes with what we're trying to do. We double the dice value, we can do four here. Hope to get a big number here and win. Nice. Very easy fight for us. We come over here and get the heal. Bump blade. Do one damage, get new dice. Value plus one. That seems good. Amazing. Maybe it's strictly better than Doppel Dice. Doppel Dice has been pretty nice, though. What would I get rid of? Probably nothing. Let's come knock out the Dire Wolf. Okay. Six here. We recalculate. That should give us a four. Let's put the four here. Put this here and then see if we go over. We do, but we still get a five. actually went over. That's crazy. Bad luck. There are plenty of apples on the board for us to use. And we don't have to use this now. We can use this to heal. Sure, let's do it. So let's regenerate. Probably worth. Let's upgrade for sure before we take any more fights. So, this gives us two uses of Bump Blade. I like that a lot. 
that's basically plus two value on our dices. On our dice? Dices. Dices is not a word. Increase jackpot range by two. Wow, Buster Sword is great. And I think it's got to be Bump Blade. And maybe I'll get another chance to upgrade here. Combine dice. Okay, well we know we can heal, take that heal if we need to. But we won't because we're going to level after this fight. Probably should have just bought the heal. There's no point in hoarding gold when the boss battles next. Okay. Let's do this. I mean, we could do it twice on the same dice. That is something we can do. Nice! Man, we're good at this game. Let's roll one more, because if we get it even, there we go, we get seven damage instead of five. We can use that three there. So 22 damage on the first run. And we didn't even have to use our jackpot. It would be nice to get our jackpot activated before we go into the boss battle. This is awkward because the max is 5 but only does 1 damage. We need lower dice to make that work. And we froze one of his so his 6 is going to turn into a 1. That's great. Unfortunately he still has... Okay, that was a bit of a misplay but I'll take it. I'll take it Rat King. That's a straight up kill. Kill into a level. I think there was probably a, a way there for us to cheese that fight. Just to get him to hurt us just a little bit more so we would go into the boss battle with our limit break active. That's something we could have done. Alright, two extra CPU. I feel strong. Let's go see if we can beat this. Whatever it is. Alright, Madison. We fought her before. Girl Scout. It's ridiculous saying the boss is saying this like the stuff in this game out loud makes you sound like a crazy person. Hi, I'm Madison, and I only have one more fight to win before I qualify for my beating dice easily in boss fights badge. That's a lot of trash talk. Alright, okay, so we knew we could roll one more. Let's do short circuit. She's got 66 life, and we just applied one poison. That's great. We can bump here, and here, five there, let's try that, perfect, and even for that, we could have got one more damage out of the roll, one more dice, but let's just do the lucky shot. Guaranteed 5. And 24 damage on the first roll against her. Pretty good. Alright, she burned us for 2. Otherwise, not that scary of a turn. Alright, now we get our limit break. Which we're going to save for next turn. Wow, we luck out again. Unbelievable. So let's roll for something even. We didn't get it. 
That's awkward. What happens if we use it right now? Uh, do I want to try and find out and maybe just like ruin this run? Because like we can do this. We just can't do anything. Yeah, I don't want to use it and then it does literally nothing when we could have saved it for the next turn. That was good. We shocked her out of her ability. Six there. We'll bump this to an even. Yeah, we got the kill. Perfect. And down you go, Madison. And we beat our first ever run on the robot character. That's awesome. So let's spin the wheel. What a wonderful bunch of contestants. What a beautiful victory. Thank you, I worked very hard. I can tell. Now fingers crossed as we spin the wheel. Depending on how it lands, we'll either win and leave here with a prize or we'll invite you back to join us for another episode. Actually, I'm going to uncross my fingers. Is that okay with you? The wheel's really heavy and I need to get a good grip. That's okay, I've got all my fingers and toes crossed. I know it doesn't change the outcome of the spin, but it helps me stay calm. Well, take a deep breath while I... the wheel spins and... Let me guess, skull. Yeah. I'm so sorry. An expired 50% off coupon for a local pizza restaurant. And a chance to come back and compete in another set of dungeons. And it looks like we unlocked a new character. The Inventor. Cool. So look forward to that in the next episode. Oh wow, this place is so cool. The doors, the spotlights. Oops, sorry, I mean, thanks for having me on the show. And apparently he's way more difficult than the last couple. But I look forward to seeing that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Once again, my name is Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. If you would like to, uh, please consider subscribing. That type of stuff helps my channel out a lot. And uh, if you're interested, I have a Discord channel. The link will be in the description below. And anyone who's watching this is, is definitely free to join the Discord. Alright guys, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.